Welcome, everybody, to another episode of CBSI's Three Comic Monty. This week, we are doing a themed color, and the color is green, as you can see from uh, Peter and Ben's choice of outfits. Uh, I didn't know Ben <laughs> glass. owned anything that wasn't Grateful Dead, so it is a surprise. Or is it dead? And I it. Oh, very Never good. mind. <laughs> no, Too soon. You had to ask. <laughs> nice. Be All right. So before we get started, be sure to check out CBSI, comicbookinvest.com for all of your free comic speculation, investing, and research needs. All kinds of new lists coming out, including the Wednesday one for new books. Lots and lots of Star Wars content has been going as it is super hot. And as always, the top 10 by our own Ben S. So I'm excited to do... Uh, color green and mike we're going to start off with you okay when i think green i think the green and so i go with my favorite rights and swamp thing which <laughs> looks like everybody <laughs> kind of thought of today um and i hopefully nobody chose because it's behind a bunch of folks uh I, I i absolutely freaking love this cover um i think this is the best cover in the whole run um it was one of those ones that kind of was under the radar for a really long time and then uh, got highlighted and then all of a sudden kind of blew up. Um, but it is just gorgeous. There's, you know, there's a fair amount of green, I think a uh, predominantly green cover, but, uh, oh, yeah. but just, just an amazing, just an amazing, I mean, may, maybe Wrightson's best one thing were right there. Very nice. Very nice. You know what blew that up actually? What got the attention? Cause I know exactly what you're talking about. Deep roots. Number one. Um, did the homage did the vault vault comics yeah, homage right. and as soon as the amount of people that were that's like right. oh my god I so, forgot about and it that. was the same week that I it had it just happened to miraculously be the same week I put it in cover tunes and the and it was one of those things where I'm like I didn't do this nobody reads my article so it can't be me what the hell happened and then all this yeah I'm like yeah, okay well, well good job and then next thing I knew it was like worse three or four times the amount but it was you're right that's why that's what that's what did it the combination yeah. of the two <laughs> all right oh uh, uh, shucks I, you're, you're sweet <laughs> I went off off character for me I did a a, a modern book. Um, a variant even, so write this down, it fairly rarely happens, but uh, green to me is the Green Lantern. I went with this Green Lantern Lost Army number two oh. Oh, with Ion's this Ben Oliver cover. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. It's all green, green tint, um, just beautiful, beautiful artwork, um, and I love it, so I do it's not buy many cool. moderns. This is one of the It's a gorgeous cover. It is, and Oliver really, you know, he if he gets hot, it's a beautiful, beautiful book he can put out. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Peter, I'm throwing it to you because you, you know, you had you had the Green Lantern on, man. You were ready. I do. I also ready got that book behind me. I got that book right here behind my head. <laughs> but yeah, I got the Green Lantern on. I got my Green Lantern glass. I had Green Lantern cufflinks at my wedding. <laughs> Very nice. But I did not pick Green Lantern for my first pick. Instead, I've got two for you, mostly because I don't have the third print, but I have the first and second. I went with Hulk 377 because we got a couple of versions of the shades of green. And I just dig this cover. I, I, I don't know. The Very third nice. print, of course, is the pricey one. And again, that's why I don't have it. But I love this like neon green on this one. It, it just. That with the black and white, I, I just love it. Yeah, it's classic great. book we all kind of grew up with being like, wow, that's exactly. amazing. Isn't that and it's a, tied into a mortal? Go ahead, it, it is. Isn't it uh, Professor Hulk, too? Is that the yes. first? Uh, that's yeah. why it yeah. blew up because of the movie. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Something yeah. special. Yeah. Well, and, and Immortal Hulk. It was both. It oh, was both. You're right, Ben. It was it was Immortal Hulk, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because now he's every color. As well as the movie. Yeah, we got yellows, we got reds. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Apparently, hey, apparently. just like the just like the Green Lantern. He's a bag <laughs> of skittles. Exactly, he is the new Green Lantern. All right, Ben, what do you got from the basement? Uh, I have, I actually, I have three. Uh, oh, we're gonna start here. Oh, oh <laughs> Sama. Nineteen forty-four, oh. Macroboy. 
I mean, that's again, that's all you're gonna say. 1944 Macroboy could have picked that for Moon. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, you know, that and that looks like a good copy too. That black really, <laughs> yeah, really nice, nice, except for the two yeah, punch holes. Nice. I'll go look more of those. I could, yeah, you can't even see them with the mylar. Yeah, you know. So, but yeah, what a what a gorgeous. Gotta love mylar. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it is. I do see the punch holes now. You say it, but they, they want to take it out. It, out. it kills me because it's on a black cover, so it sticks out really bad. But what a gorgeous book. Green Mama's an amazing, underrated kind of run of covers. It only sticks out because yeah. you pointed it out. We yeah. wouldn't have seen it. Yeah. It's like the red dot on the camera. You could put it on eBay and nobody would notice. Nobody would notice. No, oh, yeah. notice. This, this, put a black this, backing board back this there. This is staying with me until I upgrade. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Chris. Sorry you got to follow the board. golden age goodness there. but so I'm going to follow it with some uh, 80s crap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. This is a Kent Williams cover, so I mean, it does have some props for being a pretty fantastic painter. But uh, this is Saber. Uh, I I wrote those those good or stupid articles about Eclipse Comics and Pacific Comics there on Fisherman's Tale, and I got hooked into looking them up, and I actually like this book and. I needed to buy books because that's what we do, and so I ended up buying it during the quarantine. But it's when I when you said green, I for some reason immediately thought of this Billy D. Williams character riding a moth with a green background. <laughs> is that a moth? Yeah, Billy D. Williams riding Mothra. It's like he wants to be Rambo, and then it's uh, he's a Rambo think, pirate. You know, who, who was the guy that was in a Predator that died? I mean, Carl they all died. Weathers. Carl Weathers. Yeah, Carl Weathers. That's what it looks like to me. Oh God, yeah, that's amazing. That that's one you just want to own because it makes you feel like you're oh, watching yeah. the 1980s. <laughs> it's super cheap, so <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, Mike, what do you got? All right, uh, the first first thing I thought of when I thought of green, uh, even though it's a a mint green, is uh, NYX three. Um, <laughs> I absolutely adore this cover. Um, it's showing up kind of blue on the screen, but it's a green cover. Um, just a beautiful Middleton, uh, regardless of how expensive the book is for X23. Um, just just a, just a great kind of creepy sort of macabre cover. Um, just, I love this book. And I got hosed on the grade. There's no way in God's green freaking earth that that's a 9-4. Said something about shape. dimples on the cover that I can't even see. Oh, man. Yeah, ridiculous. I need to press it and grade it again because that's just nonsense. It's that one that irks you because you don't know why it happened. <laughs> I missed that book. There's no, there is no reason for that. None. Zero. It's a 9-8 all day. I don't have any idea why it's a 9-4. So my next one, I went uh, a little a little off the path. Not a foreign. Not a foreign. <laughs> you would think that. Uh, I went with an error variant. The Fantastic Four 110 Hmm. Um, printing variant oh. where much of the cover is green on the on a traditional one the logo is red I, I don't exactly know what went wrong one of the printing presses didn't go but man I don't it feels like it's a mixture of colors went wrong uh, That's so great. it's predominantly green and purple it's the only reason I look at Fantastic Four past like issue 100 and probably even way further than that is in hopes of finding another one <laughs> uh, they are <sighs> I don't want to say how rare, but they're not common to find. This is not like a you know one in ten printing error. It's it's pretty rare on the the scale of tracking them down. So keep your That's eye cool. out, keep digging, and it is just it is real kind of pretty to look at just with that mix of green and purple. So could have used like it for trippy, I think. Yeah, makes me think of scrolls. It, oh it yeah, does. that's a cool take on the theme, man. That's a really cool take on the theme. Thank you. Absolutely. All right, Peter, what do you got? All right. So for round two, I did decide to go with Green Lantern. And uh, I've always just loved this cover. I find the other issues right around this one a lot more in dollar bins, but I rarely find the 49. And this one, I just love the look in his eyes. It's just uh, creepy craziness as uh, Hal Jordan's losing it and collecting all these Green Lantern rings. But I sometimes find 48s, I find 50s, I find 51s, and they, you know, they're all not bad. But 49, I, I don't know. I love this cover. And are there some DC universes of those? 
I the, think so, but I don't have one. Oh. Yes. Yes, 48, 49, yeah. 50 have them. Yeah. It's a good run to find of them. So Very cool. That is a great cover. All right. Ben, what do you got? <laughs> um, I'm afraid to ask. <clears throat> okay. Um, <laughs> 1954, Fawcett, Pre-Code Horror. Um, wow. Fantastic oh. Fear is number five. Yeah. <laughs> um, what separates this book from being an awesome skeleton uh, cover on its own is it's the first uh, published Steve Ditko work. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Um, yeah, fun Ooh. facts here on wow. uh, three co- uh, on three comic Monty um, <laughs> coming to you every Friday on uh, comicbookinvest.com. <laughs> uh, As Mel B but, would say, absorb the lesson. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. I'm just, I just I just throw it out there. But yeah, I mean, what a ridiculous cover, and um, the the book does not exist. I lucked into it uh, in a show years and years ago, and. Thing. I mean, I probably would have bought it anyway, but thankfully knew what it was and no haggling, just take my money and move on. And I have not seen a copy in ages. So. No, those are buried away. People have it. That's, That's awesome. not out there. Oh, you just reminded me of that 80s commercial that here, take all my money. <laughs> all right. Chris, <laughs> what are you going to end round two with? Uh <clears throat> So Mike went with Swamp Thing earlier, and you can see my Swamp Thing number nine behind me. And then I got Man Thing number one right there. And then, but I'm going to have to go with Air Boy and The Heat. Uh, the <laughs> this heat? is from okay. the, the Eclipse run. Yeah. Um, so it's not the first <laughs> character. But it is The Heat. And I'm, I'm, as I'm holding this book, I swear there's only like 15 pages in this book. So like even for fi- – so it says only 50 cents. Um, there's a reason it's only 50 cents. It's They like shorted you on the number of pages when they made it. It's like a fire. But it's, it's actually a really great cover. <laughs> it's fat man thing. <laughs> what, what is happening? And they hey, got the, the snuffle up. <laughs> he's a little hairier, too. He's, the he's heat is worth fat man. <laughs> it's middle aged man thing. Like, <laughs> and uh, you gotta love how he's holding the gun. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not gonna help him much there. Middle aged man thing. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> if Sorry, you, like, you look like melted ice cream. Oh, he has his dad going there. <laughs> All right. Before we get to round three, I just want to thank oh our uh, our sponsors from Comic Barricade, um, your number one resource for supporting, stabilizing, and protecting your comics from the dreaded spine crease. So check them out at comicbarricade.com. Mike, you ready for to kick us off for round three? See what we got? Yes, I am. All right. All right. Uh, this the, uh, this may be a foregone conclusion, but I just couldn't not choose Ra's al Ghul. Uh, just, I mean, Neil Neil at his finest. Uh, just a great. I love I love the sort of. Um, I guess that's probably gray tone work in the back, but then colored green. Um, he did this a lot in the backgrounds on a lot of his a lot of his covers, and I, I love that look. Um, and I think it, it's probably best on this one. Um, and then also the treasury, which is the, actually oddly the reprint of this story, um, has the same kind of feel to it. But this this one is just green, green all day. Just thought green all day. Love it. And we're blessed to have a nice copy of it. So very nice. <clears throat> all right, that was me. Gorgeous all right. Washtown. I'm uh, I'm gonna go and follow Washtown. Him. That's a Washtown. That's a term I've not used. It's what it is. It's the it's the it's really made popular by like uh, Russ Heath in uh, the oh, GI yeah. combat. So you keep going, John. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. It's, it's, <laughs> the lessons. Yeah, I was thinking of acid wash jeans, but <laughs> <laughs> that was last week. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was used. Follow- it was used a lot in black and white stuff. Yeah, the gray town stuff. All right, I'm gonna follow Ben down the the horror route. I've shown this book in various shows, but this was one that came to mind to me. Horrific one. Yes. Uh, yeah. The green zombie on a green background playing a vi- or directing an orchestra of ghouls while a red dress dances in a pit of fire. But she's not in distress. No, she owns that. No, <laughs> yeah, she's the boss lady. Yeah. That's maybe Satan. That's if Satan's a woman, that's her. Yeah, that performs so. so well. That's gorgeous. And damn is, you, I need that now. 
it is probably my second favorite pre-code horror book and I love it. And I just always will. I hope to upgrade, but I don't know if I ever will. Cause I don't see any higher. Oh. So five, five, that's not bad. That looks nice. It, it presents real well. I don't, I don't think I've seen anything above like a six. So it, it is a freaking bear. It's a that's gorgeous like book. Penthouse yeah. level suites when you're, when you're dealing in golden age like that. And oh. one of the few books I put on my list of, I'm going to buy this in 2012 like as i moved on one of the few books i've never been able to find it's just I, I passed one copy once and i regret it even though it wasn't a nice copy i should have just bought it i don't know why i didn't i passed it and i should have just freaking bought the dang thing well, no we should have nice one. yeah all right peter where you got here all right uh well i thought about going with an x-men pick x-men 135 back here but uh, Mike's had it behind him this whole show. I did go with X Men <laughs> Fifty because oh, it was the first God. Green Book I yeah. thought of, oh. and I thought I had it, and I didn't. But I was able to quickly pick it up between when the category was announced and when we decided to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is, <laughs> my Green X Men Fifty. I, I don't know. Again, I, I just love this cover. It, it, it was again. I thought I had it, but apparently my checklist and my my file cabinet disagreed, so I didn't. <laughs> or you've Been lost there. it, and now you have to. <laughs> no, I, I just sometimes think I have things I don't. <laughs> nice. Very, I nice. Kinda have very worthwhile book to go out and Yeah. Absolutely. Can't go wrong. All right, yeah. Ben. You're Definitely on. worth going to buy that. Absolutely. Um, all right, so when I think of green cover, um, into Echo Mike, I just, I, I had to go here. There was no question about it. Um, it's, <laughs> it's a Schomburg. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, it's so ridiculous. Get the fuck out wow. of here. And I know we were trying to keep it clean. <laughs> but come on, man. Like, uh, you bonded sharks? What <laughs> like, what is bonded happening? Right. And then sharks. everybody's like uh, in uniform and stuff, except for like these dudes who are just keeping it real with like swords and shit. Are those <laughs> prototype hulks in the back almost? Yeah, yes. I was wondering about that. <laughs> but I yeah, uh, early 1944. Uh, <laughs> uh, That's pretty. Schomburg. Freaking uh, laser beams. And timely. Timely Kong, obviously, when you see Torch, yeah. but timely. That's an important factor. And what a beautiful copy. I actually got this at my LCS. Um, shocked. I walked in. It was on the wall. I said something about it, and the guy's like, yeah, it's been there for a few weeks. I'm like, "Why? how much is it? And when he told me, I was like, okay, can I can you just hold it for me behind the counter? He's like, you want me to take it down now? I'm like, yeah. yeah I don't want anybody to buy it. Oh, geez, I don't understand. Like, I just I thank the universe and moved on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, what are you going to wrap us up with? Because I'm yeah, afraid we're we'll even going. Uh, so, so, so many of us went with Green Lantern. I decided to go with uh, a great Gil Kane cover. Uh, very excited. I actually got won this in an auction uh, for one of those Facebook auctions, but I uh, got a nice. really good price on it. Uh, forty dollars. So it presents. Ooh, yeah, that's not bad. Presents very well. Um, there are some little spine ticks and everything, but I mean, I'm not a huge Guy Gardner fan. I'm not even a huge Green Lantern fan. But uh, this is just a gorgeous cover. It's one that I've actually sort of sought out a few times, but I've never seen it for forty bucks. So I was so no. excited. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Sweet, okay, you said fifty. I said forty. You said okay. I was like, "Oh, that works out for me." Uh, oh, all day long. <laughs> All day long for forty dollars, my friend. So, I was very excited. What kind of ass about. auction is that? I, I don't know. I've got some great. I'm not going to tell you because I'm still you hit the auction up every. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a secret honey hole online. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a pass since you went Green Lantern that you didn't pick an Eclipse book for the third round. Oh well, I, thought, I have a few more I could pull. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Nobody chose seventy six. Huh? No, that was on my list. I thought about it. I thought about it, and I didn't, and nobody did, and I was surprised. So the ultimate kind of Green Lantern, Green wow. Book. But all right. Thank you all for watching. It's been a great show. Check out comicbookinvest.com for the article, and uh, we'll see you all next week.